And I'm really thankful for invitation to participate of this meeting. This festival has been really interesting and that many, many things interesting for our reflection about education, about ourselves and how we can collaborate in this world. Uh, I think the last 50 years I have reflecting about that, how we can really collaborate and uh, learn about ourselves to be better in our behavior in collaboration. I, I confess that this reflection comes from some internal needs, but also some deceptions to confront the how challenged it is for human beings to collaborate. Mm -hmm. um, and yesterday, uh, one Kaiti, the indigenous man, did a lot of beautiful blessing for us, say the day two on this festival will be the day of the darkness, the day of we connect with the, the, the West and connect with the the animals from the darkness. I say, wow, it's a good for our reflections today. Uh, I, I like to, to think in terms of from where comes this intention and this beautiful intention to be together. But also sometimes I feel uh, this strong intention blocked us to see what blocked us to see really to be in collaboration authentically because this is the title of this meeting, it's authentic collaboration. It's a, a concept I have thinking about and also to understand the connection between these two words and the, our authenticity. My thought for today is, I you do a brief theoretical presentation to put ourselves in the, the, the what I'm thinking about, what the concepts are bring for that. And then we open to share and also share about your projects or your experience in collaboration or whatever around this subject. Make sense for you? Yeah? Good. Okay. I will start, and it's good some people I know here, so other people know, thank you to come. And people I don't know, I hope uh, we can talk more after my presentation to know you. And considering the nature of this, uh, this festival, maybe you could uh, write in the chat for me, What's your feeling now? How are you arriving here? Why do I share my screen? Then we can take a breath. The same time you do some, whatever we are doing, we can take a breath and connect with our body. Mm -hmm. Connect with ourselves. Prepare our mind, our body and be aware about how I am today. Uh -huh. Great. Thank you, Raymond, Annie. Mm, good, Vanessa, arriving fresh, grateful. Mm, thank you for interacting. I am also super happy to be here. Super happy to share my thoughts. Uh, Adina, can you allow me to share my screen? Uh, absolutely. Um, I think you should actually be able to to share your screen. Let me double check. You you need to just allow to everyone. I think it's just for host. Mexico. Uh, is it okay now? Ah, nice. Thank you. Okay. It's this well in in virtual meeting. We need to to be this 
normal way of make a class, do you know, present a presentation. I think it's the easy way to for we see and uh, observe what we are doing. Also help me in my English. Here we go. Um, from where start this reflection? From life. What happened? There is some hypothesis about life. Like life is when you have DNA. But it, this hypothesis is not really consistent. Because we can find DNA after death. Mm -hmm. After we have, for, we find DNA uh, from dinosaurs. So the DNA, we need this for life, but it's not uh, what makes life happen, let's say this way. There is another hypothesis, the metabolism. It's mean there is a process while we are here, organic life. It mean we need energy and waste production. It's kind of pose, do you know, our body pose, the cells pose. Hmm? And, and life is an open system. And the body's open system, the cells are open system, it's mean it's affected by environment. Although we have the membrane, some limits in our organism, life chant from feedback and it's an interesting concept to life for ourselves and for our connection because it also relations are an open system too when you are doing a project it's an open system and it's affected by feedback mm -hmm. uh, other aspect of living system of life is the network network are the basic pattern of living system in the organism, but also with the environment. It is also another important concept when we connected it with collaboration, because from these connections, life, it's a collaborative, needs to be. And from feedbacks, create new networks. It's the process of life. And in some level, or in some moment of our human history, we lost this connection. Huh? We lost this understanding. And the other interesting uh, point, I think everything I'm talking here, you know, I'm sure about that. But it's just for we remember the, the logical of my thought huh? for our, our sharing. So since life is uh, connected with environment, be affected by life, by environment, create networks, it's a movement. Life is movement. And it's this dance between stability and stability. From feedbacks and self-organization. It's the season, it's our life, we born, child, adult, eldest, died, you know. And during this our move, our process, journey of life, we live in stability and we self-organize through stability. And it's a process of learning, we can say. In this stability and instability, that is two basic types of change. And it is for a small organism and also for us as a complex organism. The human being is really complex organism. But we are a pattern from the simple pattern. The complexity is the amount of simple patterns and then become us as human being. That is a, this cyclical chance. It's a self renew. We for ourselves can renew ourselves, ourselves. Uh, the name of this is autopoiesis. 
Alessandra, sorry to yeah. interrupt. Um, I hear, uh, so uh, would you mind uh, sharing the PPT on the full screen? I think some people cannot uh, see it very well. What I need to do? Um, so maybe you can um, have uh, the presentation mode, um, so put presentation mode so that people can see the slides but on the full not screen. For me, it is. Uh, for us, it's not. Um, so I'm not really sure how. Let's see. Okay, yeah. this is better. Better. <laughs> well, let's see. But when I do like this, you cannot see. Uh, no. Uh, I see some nodding heads now. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe uh, if there's um. Okay. Okay, that's better. Thank you. Yeah. I can do another thing, maybe. Yeah. Oh, it's pity. Okay. Uh, okay. The autopoiesis is the self-make. We have this fantastic ability as living organism. The other way is the new structures and the connections. And it's this type of chant depend of feedback, depend of my connection with the environment. And then when you do this, bring this, it is a pattern from any living organism, but it is also a pattern for complex organism, it's us, and also it's a pattern for open system in some level, like a project like interaction with uh, other people and project with project also have this similar uh, pattern. Mm -hmm. How we be affected by the environment, by the connections. Uh, we thought to, to make it clear, the organism had some structure and when it's disturbed, they beg for this own structure, like a vortex of water, you know? You can be some disturbed, but it come back for a structure. It is the, the organism itself, because there is some structure on there. But it doesn't um, allow to come back, to learn, sorry, to learn new possibilities. Uh, we can see water is not living system at some level, but also in the animals, when you see a, a cardon like that, when you disturb them, they come back because they are connected with themselves. Maybe we need to learn it in our collaboration process. So to resume, living system and open system. It's, we can never direct a living system. We can only disturb it. It is a fantastic perception because sometimes we force the other to live, to learn. We cannot force anyone to learn. We can only disturb, create some um, shock, let's say. <laughs> when it happens, the organism itself can find their own way to learn. Of course, when we apply it for human being, which there is emotion, psyche, I bring other words the, to human being specifically in this process is will. We need to learn to really understand what is the concept of will and we as human beings can learn if you want deep will hmm? living system are learning system we can always learn each living organism are individuals and it's so important for a collaboration process sometimes uh, people lost themselves in collaboration process I received in my uh, clinical uh, experience many people from collaboration 
contest, come to therapy to discover what I really want because they lost themselves in the in the group. We need to make it uh, uh, in mind. In collaborative process, each individual bring their own story, their own will, their own capacity to learn, like it they be, like any other organism. But the the animals, the trees, the nature itself, they are only what they are. They are authentic. We as human beings lost ourselves in, in many other psyches and uh, traumas and they don't uh, accept or connect with their own story. Because this is so important when you are talking in terms of to be together, we know about ourselves. Because human being, there is this capacity to know ourselves, be aware about ourselves. And then the behavior of a living organism is determined like the structure, the vortex of water, there is some structure by DNA, but they are all free, free in the way of can learning, can can choose in some level what want to learn. If you have some question, you can write in the chat, then we can, we don't lose this, or comment, then we use it. How this process I'm talking here is the creativity. So life itself is creative, creative. And we, in the end, we are all creative beings. We need just be connected with this flow, connected what we really are. And it is the authentic. Authentic is from the Greek word and me original, genuine. One who has authority over oneself. The nature is authentic. But the human being, we can lost this connection with, with our authenticity. And when I bring this, this idea of authentic collaboration, is to make this connection myself and my own authority, know myself, my capacities, my potential, whatever. And put it in service with the word, open to connect through my nature, but my personal nature, but also my nature from the story of living system. It's my real authentic nature. I am living system with everything we comment before. The philosophy, uh, of course, we could go deeper on this subject, but I just bring the some concepts from philosophy. In the existentialism, we talk about authenticity, and it's to live in alignment with one's true essence and nature. It's what we are talking here. But it's easy to talk about, but I need to say it's hard to really live in your authenticity because we are affected by the environment. We receive feedbacks all the time. And now in contemporary world, it's information all the time. To be authentic, authentic also means to create limits. Every living organism, there is a limit. We have our limits in our body, in our skin. Sorry. And uh, how create this emotional boundary and the also mind boundary to not be completely just receive information, 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 and it creates a chaos. It is all the important self learning. And I am Gestalt, and of course, I bring this idea from Gestalt. We work so much from this perspective. Um, 
in Gestalt, the authentic started when I learned to be here in the present moment. And also it is an a, a important uh, practice from many spiritual traditions. And the other interesting uh, concept for Gestalt, it's authentic contact. It's me genuine contact with the world, but it depends what is my ability to be in contact with the world. Uh, what is my boundaries for that? What is my awareness about that? Mm -hmm. About uh, how I put this limit, why I put the limit. Mm -hmm. It's everything is a part of uh, uh, this idea of authentic contact and authentic, authenticity. To learn, to be aligned and spontaneous, spontaneous with which stimulus arrive to you. It's demand self-support. It's this capacity and uh, trust in the self-organization and the responsibility. Then to be authentic, authentic, it's necessary to take the own responsibility about yourself. For that, we need to learn, to learn ourselves. This basic pattern of living system, it's the capacity of learning. Then collaboration. Collaboration is beyond teamwork. It's also you know yourself and let your body, your system collaborate itself. For that is, I, I think it's uh, this higher capacity of self-organization because on this is the creativity. Creativity emerge from this capacity too. The capacity of self-organization and the capacity of interacting with the environment. So collaboration, need, there is a group identity, but through identity of each participant, which the group sharing responsibilities, and they contribute with their skills, their knowledge, their potential, and their learnings. And it promotes their strength between the group, and it is the group identity. Of course, it dance between cows and other. Remember, living system, open system, is a balance and movement between stability and instability. And from this movement, and we accept that, because what I see is people avoid instability, create some scare blockage to accept, to look, to dance with the stability. It's that concept of chaotic, the cows and other move. It's not something static. We need to learn move between cows and the other. And it is the living system process, as we saw, not just for us, but for our nature and for our projects, for our collaboration process. And of course, this authentic collaboration process, that is a challenge and opportunities. I, I like to see as a opportunities, opportunities to learn, opportunities to be aware about, opportunity to let the organism find itself, the organization, and the opportunity to be aware. As human beings, we, for this collaborative process, are learning to col collaborate. I think we cannot take, uh, because I want to collaborate, I will do. It's not automatic. We need to have conscious about the challenge of that. We will have instability and we need to learn what to do with the stability camp. It is the, the creativity, the spon 
spontaneous creative. They create a culture and they learn overcoming blockades, which I would like to we share about that between our projects, what are your experience for that in terms of blockers, in terms of learning. And if we have these concepts and self-responsibility and uh, the, the group take their own responsibility about what they are creating together, then we bring the method. Because any method, I'm sorry, it is in Portuguese. It is method to authentic collaboration. Uh, we have the dragon dreaming, we have design thinking, you have the agile methods. But if we apply any method without that principles, that understanding and the intention of learning, the intention of self-knowledge doesn't matter the, the, the method. I have worked with all of these methods, especially Dragon Dreaming. I have a book about, I will share with you how you can download on that. I talk, I talk a little bit about what I'm sharing here with you in this book. And, but, why I bring, put it in the end? Because method is what we are going to the end. Methods are the recipe. Just do this way, this way, this way, and you can achieve something. But if you have the, haven't the base for that, doesn't matter the method, the, the group will have conflict, they will not be aware about what's happening, and doesn't matter the method. Mm -hmm. uh, I, we have 30 minutes. I, ha I would like to share a movie. Uh, it's four minutes. For we connect with this idea of we are part of the huge, huge system. And my invitation for you, for we see some images, it's let this, our information you receive in the last 15 minutes, super fast, for sure, maybe not everything is in your mind, but I believe in self-organization that what is important for that information now with the image we will see, your system can self-organize and what is important for you will stay and you connect with your experience for we share and trust that what is important will stay in your heart, will stay in your mind, and you can look for it later. You can talk with me. So we feel a little bit what is this trust in self-organization of your system. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Yeah. Um, I can also it see. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Remember your breath. Take a breath. I think we cannot hear the sound. Does it have a sound? Oh. Mm 
Mm. Ah, it's a zoom. Let's see. Uh, you cannot? Really? Cannot hear the sound? No. Uh, I see some nodding heads as well. When you share um, your so... screen. Huh? When you share your screen, there's a, also a button that says share audio in Zoom. In your advanced. Also, there is someone uh, in the chat saying that if you have a link, uh, maybe you can share it in the chat directly. Um, and so maybe people can open it in their on their own computers. Yeah. It is a download in my computer. No, okay. It's... Let's try Raymond's suggestion. Thank you, Raymond. No. Yes, we can now. I think again the sound is not Sandra, so I think um, the, the sound is still not audible. Uh, Greg in, uh, says in, in the chat that um, maybe it's your microphone taking the sound up until it noise cancels. So possibly switching, he says, audio for musicians would uh, probably fix that. So maybe you can try. Uh, there's also a suggestion from uh, Mary Ange in the chat uh, with a screenshot that potentially could help uh, sorting the sound issue. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm sorry about that, but uh, I believe it's the image. Maybe it's more important for we understand how, since the one cell, we are part of this huge. No, I think maybe it is this when I 
I mentioned about self-knowledge. It we all, always have this connection. I am small, but I can make difference because I'm part of it. And this huge, huge universe, it's made by parts, small parts. And so it is like reducing for 50 minutes my thoughts and my reflections to work with collaboration and uh, self-knowledge i think it's the connection i would like to to share because when we are authentically really authentic person i can collaborate i, I can really collaborate hmm? Let's open the the for sharing. We have now twenty minutes, and you can. I will see the chat. I thank you for the how to learn this in Zoom. I will try it to learn. And Wangu, Wangil. I don't know if I'm say correct your name. Yes, unmute yourself. Hi, Liz. Thank you Hi. so much, Lisandra. Thank you so much. Um, I think just in this last place where you landed of when we can fully be authentically ourselves, then we can collaborate. Um, I'm thinking also with this thing that Gabor Mate says that, you know, there's these two drives, one for authenticity and one for attachment. And if they are in conflict, then attachment will win. And then you will, you know, authenticity will lose out. And I'm yeah. reflecting on different collaborations. Like there are certain collaborations where I'm able to show up authentically. And then there are others where, for example, there's a rank difference um, mm -hmm. and I feel challenged and then authenticity drops. Um, and then collaboration gets challenged. And so I'm curious, like, even though, like, I would love for all collaborations to be like 100% authenticity is always present, but what what actually supports, you know, authenticity and when we like bring it to the reality of rank differences, for example, in certain collaborations, whether that's global north, global south, whether that's income differences, whether that's gender, sexuality, or whatever, when you're stepping into a collaboration with people. Um, yeah. I'd love to hear thoughts, tools, practices, <laughs> advice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How do you say your name? Wangoi. Wangoi, yes. Thank you, Wangoi. Uh, was you offered for us yesterday the the connection with the body? Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah, thank you. So I think it's one important tool. And I was really pleasure for what you offer in the simplicity you offer of that. Uh, I think I leave you with that, what you are sharing. And I think the big blockage for we overcome it is because I don't know if you are in the beginning, I, I mentioned that. I feel in context of people want to collaborate, they think it is automatic. I, I, I'm not hierarchical because I am here to collaborate. You know, I am not power over, I'm not patriarchal because I'm here in this wonderful place to collaborate with where everyone wants to collaborate. I think it blocked the eyes, blind people, to see the darkness. We have this part too, because it is part of our system. We dance in cows and the other. And we forget that it's maybe 7,000 years ago, maybe more, the human being changed their mindset. And you are a fruit of that. We are receiving all these ideas, uh, sense of what is important, how I can receive recognition. It's what we have ourselves from our ancestors 
I, I'm talking in terms of humanity. When humanity define, he's my territory, you can, I'm not allowed to come here. You know, I am, I have the power, the men have the power, the, the white men have the power. And when we don't look, be not aware about, yes, we also, uh, we, sorry, we receive his learnings. How we can relearn or unlearning. I think we need also to learn unlearning patterns. At what I say, we need to, to have the will to put in practice. There is a tool for that, disturbing people. I don't have answer for you, but I am now taking this way of uh, giving information who we are. We are part of living system. We are the living system. Our cells work in this way. My, if my cells work in this way, my body work in this way. To, to have some intellectual information. And then we, we need to learn to connect with our body. Because from this connection, you know well, this connection will allow my, my organism accept the creativity and the self-organization. And when we work about ourselves, really, authentically, honestly, honestly, to see my darkness, then we can learn because it disturbs us. Then we need to talk about the ego, how we learn to reduce the ego. This ego wants the power, the control. I think it's this, using the methods, learning intellectual principles, information, bring to the body, bring to see myself, my darkness. I share with you all of that. Recently, I mentioned one thing with the guy, which he, I, I, I talked to you what happened with me. The guy using my words, using some parts of my work, my intellectual work too. And I mentioned to him, look, you are not using the right reference. He accused me in collaborative process. He is also he have some name in collaboration environment. He say, I'm sorry, you want recognition. You know, in, instead he thought and think, well, why am I not using? He, he give the gift, the, the credit is for a man, for himself and the other man, just a man. I say, look, he's a good uh, point for we reflect about patriarchalism. Just reflect about that. Why you don't put my name if you are using what I'm teaching in many class? I'm sorry, you want recognition. Do you know? The person cannot. Maybe I didn't see, but if I'm here in open system, which has the connection with the environment, feedbacks, let me hear what comes from this point. No. He block it and, and say how wonderful things he does for collaboration. I am the best in collaboration. So I have not the answer. I can just share the reflection to, for we, it's the challenge. It's the challenge. And I, I have used it a lot, how we can really have a deep silence. Sometimes I don't find they use so much words to, you know, to convince or stay there. I'm not finding this a good way. I'm learning so much to wait. But it's not a toxic silence because that is a really toxic silence, heavy silence. But how I learn, let go and know myself what this patriarchal behavior affect me with who i can really connect 
to overcome, to work. Collaboration doesn't mean I need to work with everyone. How I can create good networks to put in practice what I believe and the, the project, the success, to make success project, what, where we can really uh, grow up together, not insist with people. It's not open to uh, learning and learning. It's also part of nature. Huh? Uh, nature finds the way we we have success. We can also talk. And there is some books take about that. It's the Ant Society. There is many books talking about that. How we change for waves, uh, society to ant society, because the ant so ants uh, collaboration ants is that they found together the way for the success and they abandon the others and find a way to success. It's also connection with feedbacks with the environment. Um, it's a huge reflection. I would like, like to continue that. I'm with you on that, suffering a lot in some level with this, but I believe. How do we know if you are a truly authentic collaborating, Annie? Thank you, Annie, for your question. I think it's the huge and hard capacity to be honest with yourself. It's really difficult. When you come back for ourselves and see my darkness and be honest with that. And for this process, of course, needs to learn to see yourself, we need a body for that. We need to learn to give name for what you, you feel. But of course, you, I believe we will never to be a re ready, but to be capable to learn. Learn to learn. It means when I am in contact with others, when I am challenged these conflicts, which we mention now, for example, instead to react, give time, give time for yourself, feel what is, is you are feeling, give time to observe external and internal be honest what you are feeling to see if it's good or not then you learn the way to see if you are really being authentic do you want to write or maybe if you want to unmute your microphone it's good too there are many, of course, Rob is asking. There are many, of course, but what is the biggest obstacle to successful collaboration? <laughs> From my experience, I think it's the ego of a human being. The ego, it's that, of course, we can see different concepts for ego, I bring you what I understand. I understand the ego is that part we identify, identifies like I, I uh, come on that and believe it's me. I am only it. I am smart. I believe I am smart. Wherever I go, I am smart. And what the ego does is will create a behavior to control every single behavior and the others to keep this position to be smart. And then it starts the, the blockheads because they will control the, the others, they will enter in competition to maintain that idea of themselves, of himself, of the person, no? The control comes that. 
I need to do everything I can to maintain this illusion I have about myself. It's the identification. And the behaviors you come with that, from that. What I shared with you about this experience with the guy, he's this person believe it's totally collaborative person. He believes in that. And I don't doubt about that. I don't, I, I don't doubt. But because he believes strongest he is that, wherever information, feedbacks, a challenge it, they will react to maintain that position. And it is the, the for me, the huge obstacles. If we, have, how we can overcome? First of all, I need to see it's happened. Because if I don't accept, yes, I am strongest attached on this idea, I will never change. It is the, I need to be aware about myself. It is what I say about self-observation, look for yourself, honestly, to see my behaviors, how my behaviors change and manipulate myself to keep it there. Everything I am um, can be so, of course, it, the things can change. For, for at the moment, I believe the only way we can overcome uh, these obstacles to be really collaborative, it's each person be honest with themselves and learn themselves. Not learn because I'm beautiful. I say learn because I'm not, I also have the darkness. No, if you we don't accept that and look for that, we'll keep in the illusion. And the, the illusion of I don't need to learn. I have not what to learn. And if you if we lost this capacity or this will to keep learning, we block at our nature as living system. Because nature, living system, is learning. As you can see from biological aspect, you know, and the, the biological perspective, it's what we have the concrete in our body. Then we can grow for our mind, for our emotion, which is more subjective. I like this idea, start from the concrete, which our, is our body. Because this is so strong as the work with body, to know your body, to take care of your body, the presence here and now through my body. Then I can learn to know the this subjective aspect, which needs more strongest intention to know ourselves, because it's not easy. It's beautiful to say, but it's not easy. It's the truth. Mary and and we start to go to the end. Mary, Mary, yeah. Hi. Yeah, hi. Hi. Oh, good to see you. Good morning, everyone. I came up a little bit late. Sorry, I was. I had the video off. But uh, as someone working collaboratively for over twenty five years now, and uh, I find it. Listening to you, there's lots of things that reverberate. But uh, I think, how about the others? Because when we say that the biggest problem, the biggest challenge is our ego, but there are other people's egos, the people that we are working with. You know, and also when we talk about the concrete, yes, concrete is our body, but you know, coming from having worked in places. In, various degrees of uh, of disadvantage or problematic situations for me the comfort is also the territory you know the yeah. social political setup where we are working because yeah. most of the most of the collaborations i have done the ones that didn't that ended up that started very well and ended up a bit mm -hmm, 
they were because of very practical issues and other people's agendas and egos. Of course, I have to see how I deal with that. And for me, in that point, the strongest thing is authority. Yeah. This notion of authority, for me, being authentic, most of the time is very hard for most people because we have this embedded sense of authority. The other one is always iffy, for bad or good. But uh, how to deal with the, the environment, you know, with practical things when it comes to finances, you know, you do a whole project thinking that, yeah, everyone is going to benefit. And then at the end, someone who has some power in the community will say, yeah, but what am I getting with this? Yeah, so very sure. practical issues. Yeah, of course, it's a good point of view. Um, what happened is we cannot do nothing with others and accept this is really hard. I cannot put will in order to be a collaborative. I cannot make the other see themselves. But I believe when we come back for ourselves, if you, if you are capable to have this vision of what's happening and the know yourself and can have, can have the other behavior, I'm learning about that. I agree with you about that and I suffer with that too. I am learning when I come back for myself and I learn to deal with my suffering. I learn to deal with, accept that it affects others. If the other is able to talk honestly, we can do something. If the other not, we cannot do anything, anything. You can see in all these levels you say, cannot do. So we don't put conscious in other person. Is what I say in the beginning, I think you didn't come here in the living system. The, we can only disturb it. We cannot chant, we cannot make learning. If you, when you bring these reflections or you bring some action and it disturbs this environment to create a new way, but sometimes it's not just talk about, sometimes uh, I, I was mentioned, sometimes the silence is the best thing. How we be, uh, how you know that when I am, I act or not knowing myself or to believe in our intuition it is the concept of spontaneity to move accord with the disturb i receive from the, the the environment spontaneously and it's the creativity i receive uh, many many people does this reflection how i can do with the others with the ego of the others oh, i'm sorry we cannot and accept that help us to learn and to do better. Sometimes you necessary confront confrontation. Sometimes it's necessary. If you feel that is the time, use your your strength, your potential for that. When I say that, is any ways to be passive, but to know when. It, I can put a, 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 a confront something when is the silence and we know that just when you look at ourselves overcome your own trauma overcome my obstacles learn concepts methods so you know how to use that but if you stay looking how the others can do no no, no, no. I'm sorry. And uh, it is from experience. I passed this year, I really, really, really challenged with that, the power over. I mentioned a little bit here. 
was more than that. It was really, really challenged from patriarchal in this environment. I wait five months to act when I feel now I can act and make some difference. And then the things start to move in different way. I'm talking for you from experience. So how much you know about yourself, more you know what to apply, what moment you confront, what moment you step back. And it is wisdom. Here, our intuition is active through wisdom. Yeah, it's not easy. It's our capacity, what I, I, I talked about, uh, authenticity. It's about uh, responsibility, self-responsibility. And it's so hard. Maybe because this we don't really collaborate, collaborate. Because people doesn't take their responsibility and look how the other can do. Just take yours. And unfortunately, the, the word I was looking, who is the biggest, uh, who is uh, directing and make decisions in the world? White, old men. What these people can see for the future? Need to be us in the base, do something. Uh, uh, Robbie, thank you. People is living. There is many things happen. Robbie, can I can say I will give here my email and and also here in this website lisandrabarbuto.com. Send me an email and in lisandrabarbuto.com you can download. It's English and Portuguese. I'm from Brazil. It's a chaotic country. Uh, you can also download the Dragon Dreaming book there. You just select English or Portuguese. And Rob, you can send email while you download the, the presentation that I can send to you. I will also put the reference. Okay? I didn't that. So we need to end. I, um, Adina, we passed the time. It's what happened with uh, festivals. The time is short. It's but okay. I'm... It's okay. No worries. <laughs> is well, we received here a stronger recommendation for not past the time. Uh, so if who is here, maybe could uh, share your feelings. How are you living now? Uh, I write to me just for I have some feedback. It's a feedback for me. Uh, good to see people here. If you want to continue this reflection, you can send me mail and I love that to find and connect with people who want to overcome and uh, overcome these challenge for human beings huh? and to know ourselves. Uh, I'm feeling really good and thank you to hear me. I, I am learning to dance between the dark and light and it has been a very good experience. Not give strongest vi uh, value just to light, but also look with curiosity for the, your own darkness, that part of, of yourself, you are, ah, it's not good, I'm ashamed to show the others, do you know? But where is my also patriarchal aspect? What I can see myself, for example, when I am egoist, when I want the power, hmm? we can also look in ourselves. Maybe I don't act, 
but I can see, have some wish for that. If you see it, we help a lot our collaborative uh, process. When you learn also see ourselves and learn to overcome ourselves, it impacts. Uh, learn to see both aspects with the same value and the same curiosity and the same pleasure maybe hmm? because everything it's ourselves it's part of me then i can be complete authentic because i'm out of that hmm? and then i can learn Great. Thank you, Mahi, to bring this perspective. Robbie, everyone, Raymond, I'm still here. I need to come. Joy, Greg, Tanya. Sound word. Is your name here? Thank you, Namali, to come. We talked yesterday and the Kirpa. Vivani, everyone is here. Thank you. Now, I thank you, Adina, to host us. So have a very good conference for all of us. There is many, many interesting things. And I'm able here by email. Okay? Bye. Have a very good day. Very good evening. Mm -hmm.